Hi, I'm Mike from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. In this video, we're going to be showing you a really basic overview of how to use a multimeter. Most of our other videos, we tell you check the ohms or the volts AC, volts DC. And we've been getting a few phone calls lately of people asking, hey, um, can you show me how to do this? I don't know what you mean by that. So this is not going to be a really comprehensive guide on how to use every feature of every multimeter on the market. But hopefully some of the people that are having trouble with this should be able to help you out. Alright, first one we're going to test is volts DC. And this is used to test your things like your battery. Uh, this is the one that most people will be more comfortable with because uh, they've used it before. So you're going to turn your multimeter to volts DC. And you're going to take your two probes that come off your multimeter. Red's going to be a positive, black's going to be a negative. You're going to test them to the battery terminals. Pretty basic. Red to positive, black to negative. And you should get a reading. Alright, volts AC is used to test the output voltage of the stator or the charging system while the motorcycle is running. Um, a lot of people call up and say, I'm not getting any AC volts out of my stator. The most common problem is they're, they got their multimeter set to volts DC instead of volts AC, alternating current. So you're going to set your meter to volts AC. And then you're just going to use your probes. Uh, positive, negative doesn't really matter much on this test. So you're just going to take your two probes. And if you have three leads coming out of your stator, you're going to test each combination. There should be three different combinations of the leads. You're going to test each different combination and you should get your reading right up on your screen. All right, now to the resistance testing uh, or the ohms meter part of the test. What you're going to want to do is set your meter to ohms. Uh, kind of looks like a set of little headphones. And then you're going to take your two probes and same thing with the AC bolts. You want to test each combination of the wires coming out of your stator. Should be three different combinations. Uh, you can also use an ohms meter for a continuity test. If you have zero ohms, you have zero continuity. Okay, this is just a close-up view of the meter we use here at Ricks, just to give you a better idea of what the symbols are. Your meter is probably going to look different, but hopefully this should shed some light on it. Uh, this is volts AC. You can see, you should see a little volts AC up here on the screen. Volts DC, that's the symbol. And you should see a little volts DC up on the screen. And then the resistance or ohms test. So one down here, like I said, looks like a little set of headphones. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully we were able to help some of you out. If not, if you have any more questions, you can always shoot us an email or visit the website at ricksmotorsportelectrics.com. And thanks for watching.